Charging has commenced. Okay, so I bought the Tinico Floor One S3 Extreme. There is a later model out, it's the S5. I did not buy the S5 because I don't need any of the features that the S5 comes with. And it was $100, $200 more expensive. This one was $499, or sorry, not $499, $399. I was able to get it on sale at Best Buy for $329. So I went with that, and that was better than the Amazon price. Um, I've been looking for something that I can use a wet, wet, dry vac for the floors because you guys know I have a ton of floors, right? And I needed something sweeping and trying to, you know, swiffer or mop those floors almost daily because of everything that's going on in our lives right now. Is ah, I need something else. So. This had good reviews. I compared it. I was originally looking for a Shark because you, I love Shark products. I got Shark vacuum. I've been using Shark vacuums for a very long time. But when I compared this to the Shark one, this one to me stood out more. And this was better to suit my needs for the space that I have. And I think it could do a little bit more than what the Shark was doing. So I went with this. So I'm going to try the Tenneco. Um, I've charged it. I've already got it hooked up to the Wi-Fi, but that connects to the phone or whatever, or whatever. This cleaner can sense how clean or dirty the floors are, and it will alert you when the floor is clean, like there's a ring on the top that turns red and when the floor is dirty, and then it turns blue when the section is clean. It, it also has different modes, so I'm going to do it in auto. I'm not going to video the other two modes. You've got the auto mode, then you've got uh, the suction only mode, which is not available on all of these models, but I have one that does have that mode, I believe. And then what's the third mode? The third mode is whatever it's called. It's just for, um, for, oh, it doesn't use the detergent. So what is the third mode called? I don't know what the third mode is called. Let's see. Auto max and suction modes. So I believe the max, well, the auto suction, basically it'll adjust the amount of soap. It'll adjust the level of the suction and everything based off of how dirty the floors are. And I am just going to go and clean a section of my kitchen so I can see how this thing works. The other thing is it comes with a charger. It's a decent sized battery and the battery is supposed to get you 35 minutes. So I am going to pull this off. I've already charged it, but if you've seen in the, the very beginning of the video, it tells you when the thing is charging. So I'm just gonna lift it a little bit. That's the charging dock. Charging has commenced. So see, it tells you when it's charging. So, all right. Okay, so backing up a little bit, I, I'm looking at the three modes. I know I said earlier, I was, I read them, but I am looking at the instructions. And so I, I spoke about the auto mode and then it says in max mode, the appliance will apply maximum suction and will spray water and solution for deep cleaning. But it does use the solution in auto mode, of course, because it adjusts. Now, in max mode, if you have the suction mode, and this was where I was kind of, I couldn't really remember, but if you want the suction mode, while you're in max mode, you hit this button here with the little dots one time and it'll go into suction only mode. Suction only, it says that it will only absorb water and it won't spray. So like if you just spill something and you don't, I guess, want water, want it to squirt water, or maybe you're only trying to get up some water and you don't need it to spray water because you're just picking water up, then you can do the suction mode only and it will only suction. And I would think too that if I am just vacuuming to sweep and I don't necessarily want to mop with the sweeping, 
then I probably could use the suction mode for that too. So right now I am about to fill this water tank up and let me just show you out. There's a little button here at the top. You can, I'm barely squeezing, see it just pops out. And you fill it with water. It says do not use hot water. So I am going to fill it to the max line and I'm also going to put one cap of solution in because I do want to sweep and mop the floor because it's time for that. I have purposefully not swept my floors in a few days so there could be some crumbs and things around. And I have also spilled a little bit of my breakfast shake on the floor. Oops, so we're gonna clean that up. And then the dirty tank is on the bottom and same thing. Oh, there you go. It pops out. <laughs> Easy. Note to self, don't try to open it when you got something in your hand already. But I just wanted to show you guys because it's much bigger, the dirty reservoir. and But it still has the same way of popping in and popping out. Push that down so you can click it back in. And it pops back in. There you go. Alright, so I'm going to fill this. And then uh, we're going to get to cleaning. Also, I want to do my wood floors too so i'll do a section of this before i run i gotta got some place to be but i'm gonna do we'll see how fast i can get this done doesn't seem like it takes long to do so the the other you need to clean your cleaner after you're done so i want to try to get this done i got about 30 minutes so i should be fine i want to try to get this done i want to clean it out and then I want to put it in the, the clean mode so this is a self cleaning machine when you do the clean mode you have to put clean water in and make sure that the dirty tank is empty basically you want to clean make sure the dirty tank is empty and you want to make sure that you have a thing of clean water in there I believe it can sense it we'll see and it will self clean that brush so that I don't have to clean the brush I just take it out and I let it dry you also have to take out and rinse and clean the filter which it's not a lot. You just sit it on the little hub that's on the side of the charging port that I showed you guys earlier, and it dries. So we'll see exactly how long this takes me. We're going to get this going now. So I got three roller brushes that this one came with. I got some solution. I ordered some extra solution. And all of this stuff. The dock has got an extra filter there. So once you use this, it's got the two reservoirs for the water the clean water and the solution goes here you use one cap warm water and the dirty is here this thing also self cleans so when it's all done and i'm ready to go i can put it on self clean it will clean this brush i will take it out and sit it over like i got that extra one right there ignore the tennis ball so that it can dry so that will get removed when i'm ready to use it it also comes with this little cleaning brush here so this is to clean out the containers and everything um, when I am done using it. You do need to clean it every time. You wash these out, you rinse that out, you sit it in there and you let it dry and um, have it all set to go for the next time you're ready to use it, okay? So I think that's it. That's all I know just from doing my reading. So let's see how this thing Let's right, see how this works now. I believe. I don't believe we're we're just gonna try it. Okay, so I hit the max mode button, and you see that it switched to max mode. Alright, 
So if you listen, I'm going to go through all three modes right now. Listen. So the last one, it says suction mode. Auto mode, you can see the suction adjusting here. So auto mode, watch. Okay, now we're gonna go to max. See the suction adjusting? Suction mode, all right, going back to auto. And I did, I turned it off for a second so I can feel the brush, make sure the brushes were uh, hooked in appropriately, and they are, and you can feel it, it really does scrub, um, at least it feels like it to my hand, the floor, while you're, um, while you're mopping or vacuuming. All right, I'm going to come over here to my trio here, see how it does with that. turning red because this part is pretty dirty all right now it's clean that was pretty cool let's go over a little bit all right so you saw when it went over the spill where I had my shake it turned red and the shake is all up and it's been sitting there for about 10 minutes Wow, it is doing a really good job, guys. Those little crumbs and paper and all that little bit of stuff that was there, gone. All right. So far, there was only one spot on my floor where it turned red at in front of the TV. And I cleaned that until it turned blue. So I just got a leaf in there and it sensed it. So it said to clean the tank or the debris channel. So I think I know what it is. All right, so this is what I'm thinking the problem is right here. There's a debris channel, my daughter's hair. So what happens when you have a kid with really long hair. So let's see if that, if that unclogs it. You see how dirty the water is, guys? It is it's cleaning up. It is doing a good job. 
All right, so I'm going to finish up here. All right, so that is my floor in the living room. Ah, this cleaning solution almost out, but I was just instructed to clean the dirty water tank. So I'm going to clean this tank now. And you guys see all of that from about 15 minutes of cleaning the floor. So I'm going to dump this in the toilet. Just wanted you guys to see how murky that water was. And then I'll show you guys the self-clean mode next. Self-cleaning cycle. There it is. Oh, it tells you whether to run the cycle. Please clean dirty water tank. Huh. All right. Well, let me clean the dirty water tank again. And then apparently I didn't clean it well enough. Let's see. No. Oh. There's a little bit left in there. Let me rinse this out again. I actually finished off the last of the cleaning solution. I didn't think it would pick it up, but it did pick it up. <laughs> that little bit of solution. And now I'm gonna clean this again. Well, I'm just gonna rinse it out because it's not, it's just that little bit left in there. All right, nothing's getting by with this thing. That's awesome. Now let's reset it. Charging has commenced. And it's clean enough. So now I'm going to hit the button here. Start self-cleaning. It is self-cleaning. And as you can see, there it is. The brush is rolling. It's doing the self-clean. So that'll go. Deep cleaning now, guys. So it went to cleaning the brush roller. Then it cleaned the debris channel, which used up most of the water. And then it sensed. And now it's doing a deep cleaning. It looked like it's low on water, so it'll tell me if I need to put more water in there or not. But, guys, I am really liking this thing so far. This is my first use, so it's not very hard at all. But, oh, yeah. It is cleaning. Cleaning the brush. So look at that water after it cleaned the debris channel in the brush. How great that is. So I'm going to take that out. Cycle complete. Please clean dirty water tank and debris channel. And there's the indicator. Okay, so guys, I really like this floor cleaner. It literally talks you through everything. If there's a problem with it, the voice will tell you that it's clogged or you need to empty the water tank or the water tank is empty or um, it, is, it senses, senses and assesses uh, the dirt level for everything. Even when you're doing the self-cleaning with the brush, it assesses the amount of dirt that uh, or the uh, amount of cleaning that it needs to do. It does assess all of that. And when it's done, it says that it's complete, which is pretty cool. This is, so this is my first go around. I'm sure I'll discover more about it and learn how to work it a little bit more as I get more acquainted with it. But I am very happy with my purchase and I'm gonna keep using it. Um, Obviously, this was just a test run, so I'm going to do a more extensive use of it because I have a lot of surface area to cover with it. And um, 
I mean, if anything changes or if I decide later that I don't like it or if I want to make another video talking about some things that I discovered that I don't like about it, then I'll do that. But um, you do have to take uh, take it apart to clean everything after it's done, which really is pretty much just running it under the water and rinsing it. Um, it's not hard to clean at all. And then you let everything dry and you put it back. It comes with enough extra parts where... If you need to use it again before the brush dries, I don't know how long it takes to dry, but the floor dries like pretty fast, probably within two minutes the floor dries. Um, but with that being said, um, it comes with all the extra brushes and I can just switch out the brushes if I need to use it again before one of the other brushes dry. So I like it. I'm excited to actually use it when I don't have to rush out the door. So let me know if this guy is something that you are interested in. It's called the Tinico. I think it's Tinico. Yeah, Tinico Tinico Floor One Series Three. I again got the Extreme. Extreme has three brushes that came in a box, and the Extreme has the suction mode. All of them don't have the suction mode on it. There's different ones in the series, but this one does. So if you want the one with suction mode, I know for sure that the Tinico iFloor 3S Extreme does have it. So, all right. I will see you guys in the next video.